What's up, YouTube? Got your boy tweaking D Mac up in here. Wow. We just saying what's up to y'all and stuff. Um, I know y'all missed my reviews and whatnot. So I actually got some real games to review today about D Mac and. Uh huh. So check it out. First, we got Battle Tanks for the Nintendo 64. So pretty much, no, I'm gonna read the back to you because I don't really play this game too much. The year is 2006. The world has become a post apocalyptic urban wasteland while Griffin and Madison struggle to rebuild society they realize their young son possesses telekinetic powers that are the key to the future and shit like that anyway it's got fun multiplayer never play career but multiplayer can keep you having fun for days I mean you play this shit forever my rating 7 out of 10 I give it a 7 out of 10 too cause it was fun but I kept on dying so that made me get interested in the game. Alright, now next game. The infamous GoldenEye 007. I shouldn't even have to introduce this game or tell you what it's about. This is something you should already know. This is the greatest shooting game ever created on any system. My personal thing. I give it a 10 out of 10. Great get fun gameplay. Play with your friends for hours. Great storyline. Everything. I give it a 10 out of 10 too. That's my favorite game. I will play y'all for some money. If y'all want to, I play y'all for some money. All stop. Who y'all right now? Now every two gangster in the world right now I'm about to just break out when I do this because this is all to every gangster in the world like Pokemon. Nintendo 64. This game, we played it last night. Huh? Uh huh. We were playing the little mini games, did a few battles. Another great game. If you like strategy games, like Final Fantasy and things like this, this top Final Fantasy. This is a must have. Yeah. Okay, so final rating 15 out of 10. I give it up. Infinity and Beyond. That's a tight game. Tony Hawk Pro Skater, the original for the Nintendo 64. Also, another great game. I like Tony Hawk, not just because I skate, it's just a really fun game. You play this game for like, how long do you think you play this game for? All day, every day. Nah, he could. I could play it for a couple hours. It gets very repetitive. I give it a 4 out of 10. I give it a, um, a 2 out of 10. Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2 for Nintendo 64. Pretty much the same thing as Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1. Better graphics, more characters, different levels, newer tricks. Nothing too special about this game. They're all after Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1. Nothing new. 2 out of 10. 1 out of 10. All the time. Duke Nukem 64. How I love this game, I feel that controllers and graphics are fucking hideous they could have done way better with that gameplay is fun fun multiplayer 4 out of 10 0 out of 10 I don't like that game at all tell you tell you have wars on I'm gonna let Devontae talk about this one hey this game is a 0 out of 10 I don't like this game this motherfucker right here beat me up I didn't even know how to punch this dude didn't even want to stretch on my when I tried to kick him he hurt up and ran he kept on Drop kicking me inside. Uh uh. Don't ever play this. See this game right here? See this? Don't ever play this game right here. Okay? Alright. Let y'all know. Well, I have another one for Devontae to tell y'all about. Yeah. Mayhem. Don't don't play that one either. Because he's going to try to beat you up with Stank. And Stank be drop kicking you and stuff and running up on you. Uh uh. Don't play this game. I don't like this game. For real. Don't play this. Madden Football 64. We haven't had a chance to play this game, but I think I'm going to like it. Me too, because I like football. My favorite sport. I don't like sport games, but Nintendo 64 had great football games. So we'll check this one out. I will do an actual in-depth review of this game later for y'all. Are y'all ready for this one? It's like one of the greatest games to ever come out. Pokemon Snap. 
you're probably like, how fun can it be running around taking pictures of Pokemon? This game is actually very fun. You get power-ups, you get to see a lot of different things. The graphics, everything around is just amazing. I give it a 10 out of 10. Let's break into the last one we're going to do today. Paper Mario for the Nintendo 64. Whoa! Whoops. This game is epic. If you have a Nintendo 64 and don't have this game, you can suck my ass. I'll stand on my money and headbutt Yao Ming. You can suck my ass. This is the greatest. Oh, I'll take it out the case. This one deserves to be out the case. Paper Mario for the Nintendo 64. Get this game. I'm not even gonna tell anybody. I want you to go out right now. I want you to buy it. Or pirates, go out there and download it, leave it, whatever you want to do. But get this fucking game. What you think about it? I say whatever out of ten. Buy this fucking game. Same here. Same here. I like it. All right. Now about the games. If you, any of y'all have Nintendo 64 games but do not any longer have a case for them, on eBay you can buy just little clear cases like this. Nothing spectacular, just a little clear cassette case. And then go to um, the coverproject.net. This is just a printout, dog. Nothing, print out on my computer. You would get it the right size and everything, cut it out, and put it in. Make your games look fresh and have a nice co nice collection. Well, that's all for today. Sorry, it's been so long since I did so many um, reviews. Have more reviews for you soon. That. Sweet baby, www.myspace.com backslash youngfox985. Check that out.